Welcome to Mac Pro Video's first look at Cubase 6, the newest iteration of Cubase from Steinberg. I'm Matthew Lolte Hepworth, and it's my pleasure to take you through some of the major new features of this great new update to Cubase. One of the biggest new features of Cubase 6 for Mac users is that it is now able to run in native 64-bit mode. Now, 64-bit mode will allow you to address more than 3.5 gigabytes of RAM for the memory footprint of the application. Now, if your Mac has more than 4 gigabytes of RAM, I would strongly recommend that you use Cubase 6 in 64-bit mode. But let's make sure that you know how much RAM your computer has. Go under the file pull down menu and select about this Mac. The next screen that you see will show you how much memory you have installed in your Macintosh. Now let me show you how to start Cubase 6 in 64-bit mode. Find the Go pull down menu on your Macintosh and select Applications and then find the Cubase 6 application icon. When you highlight that, you can type Command I for Get More Info. And then you'll notice that there's a little checkbox next to Open in 32 bit mode. By default, that's checked so that if you want to use Cubase 6 in 32 bit mode, especially if you're using a lot of legacy 32 bit plugins, it will launch in 32 bit mode and load all of those plugins in 32 bit mode. However, if you're like me, and you've updated a lot of your plugins to 64-bit anyway, go ahead and uncheck that box. Now, when you launch Cubase 6, the splash screen will actually show that you are loading in 64-bit mode. Right here, version 6 and 64-bit. So my version of Cubase 6 is now running in 64-bit mode. However, you should be aware that there are some incompatibilities when you're using 64-bit mode. And so let's take a look at that list. The OMF, or Open Media Framework, is disabled. So is the OpenTL, AES, Apple Remote Control Support, MP3, and Sound Designer 2 formats. Those are all disabled, and if you want to use any of those export functions, you'll need to relaunch Cubase in 32-bit mode. Also, Rewire is not available, and neither are the Prolog, Spectre, or Mystic plugins. So if you rely on any of those operations or those VST instruments, you'll need to relaunch Cubase 6 in 32-bit mode, and then they'll all be there. Now this list is getting shorter and shorter with every update to Cubase 6, so make sure that you go to Steinberg.net and download the most current version of Cubase 6. And now, let's take a first look at Cubase 6, 